So I'm just coming towards the end of my first run since Holton Towers for about two weeks almost. And uh, even though that run didn't go too well because I'm coming towards the end of this sort of sickness bug that I've had, there's no such thing as a bad run or a waste of time when it comes to running. You'll never, I don't think I've ever regretted going for a run. So if you're not feeling it, but you know you should, get your shoes on and get out the door. You'll thank yourself later. So I just totally forgot that on my run, Laura's asked me to go and pick up some milk. And we live near an M&S garage. £1.40 for a carton of milk. I'll remember when I was a lad. Carton of milk, bad to milk, on a cost me tuppence. Okay, let's talk about the Alton Towers half marathon. So, first of all, the course. It's described by Alton Towers, because I asked on their Facebook page the day before, I said, can you tell me what the elevation is? Because nobody knows. And they described it as undulating. And what I've learned from these half marathons, a handful of races that I've done this year, is that undulating is code for pretty hilly, it's about 800 feet, I think, of elevation, and it's a two-lap course. Now, it's another thing that I've learned that I'm not a big fan of. I didn't realise that I didn't really like a, um, a, a, a route that has laps. Uh, personal preference, of course. I just don't like doing the same thing twice because I remembered all the places that I struggled on the first time. Um, which psychologically put me back, I think. Um, anyway, that's completely personal preference. So you might love that. You might think, yes, I'm in the zone. I know exactly what's coming uh, and I can run the second half of my race differently or better, or whatever. Uh, so, so there's that. Um, also, the warm up was a bit of a, not a mess, but the, where they put everybody on the grass was to do the warm up was a bit, like herding cats they'd never done this event before and obviously they sort of is there's a teething process i'm not saying that it was a complete fail but there were probably ways that they could have got people into pens better into you know your predicted finishing time um that delayed the start of the race a little bit i think uh and apparently on the five and the 10k the day before the problems were even worse apparently people were running onto each other's routes because marshalling wasn't was unclear. I must say though, the marshalling on the course was really good and you could tell who the Alton Towers staff were compared to the the race event marshals, I think, because the, <laughs> the Alton Towers staff had all been given tambourines. And by the time Muggins here, who's running at a two hour five pace, has come across, and this guy has already seen about 2,000 runners on the second lap, this one guy I remember was just not feeling it. He was like, I was like, mate, you're struggling more than I am. So that was quite humorous. The entertainment on the course is awesome. I've got to say, there are there's singers, there's dancers, there's people dressed as like pirates. The Alton Towers police were there. So it is quite, it's a theme park. It's going to be fun. Um, so the whole thing was, was pretty, was awesome. And... Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you like to be distracted while, when you're running, um, if the roller coasters aren't enough for you. Having said that, you do run on the car parks, which I'm sure you've heard, which is a little monotonous, I must say. Um, uh, and the next thing I wanted to mention was, uh, I don't think it was a half marathon. If you ran this route, can you please let me know if your Garmin or whatever you use clocked it as an official 13.1? Because... I clocked it as half a mile short. So my watch clocked it as 12.6 miles. Whether that, I mean, I didn't take a wrong turn. So whether that was, we all took the wrong turn. Or we all, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what happened there. It could be my Garmin playing up. It is two or three years old. So it is time for a new Garmin. Um, so yeah, let me know if you think that your watch didn't quite clock it. Could just be my watch though. Um, and the last thing I wanted to say was I was so ill. I was poorly. I wasn't like dying ill, but I was just under the weather. I was re really run down. Um, and obviously if you're too ill to run, then don't because you're, you, 
for obvious reasons. It's just not good, not a good idea. Uh, but I'm really glad that I made the trip to go and do the run because I think it, I wasn't quite ill enough to not do the run, if you know what I mean. So next time I'm feeling a bit under the weather, I think a run, this might be terrible advice, will probably be better than a rest because I know that I just would have kicked myself if I would have um, missed the opportunity to do a really cool race. Uh, but uh, And also, if you are feeling a bit under the weather and you don't perform as well as you think you should, don't worry about it because you can't be too hard on yourself because you've been poorly, for God's sake. So it's, a, it's weird, but it's a good bit of fresh air. It's a good way to get your heart rate up and a good bit of fresh air. And you never know. It could be good for your, uh, it could be good for your mental state as well. Um, so I'm going to leave that video there. If you are running the Alton Towers uh, race in 2022, let me know, because I think this is one I'm going to add to my calendar every year. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome. Um, th there were difficult parts, but it's a half marathon. Like, of course it's going to be difficult. It's not easy. It's ne they're never easy, uh, but it was very technical. Lots of twists and turns. If it was bad weather, like if it was frosty or snowing or torrential rain or anything but nice sunny skies, I could see it being a problem because a lot of fallen leaves, a lot of quite steep hills, um, both up and down, well, especially the downhills on the hairpins and stuff, that could be quite problematic in the future, but it's all part of the fun, I guess, isn't it? Until someone gets seriously injured. Probably would be me next time. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I am off literally to run another race. I've got the New Forest Trail Half Marathon, which is tomorrow. And I'm madly, madly excited for it because I've never done a trail half and I'm getting to try my new GoPro Hero 10. So I will get that video up when I can. And after that, I'm gonna post in retrospect a few of my old races, which I've put on my photography channel, which most of my photography viewers are thinking, why have you put a running video on? So I'm gonna delete them and put them on this channel. So wish me luck for tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you when I see you, whenever that may be. If you're out and about on a, on a run, I hope it goes well for you and I'll see you soon. Never know how to end these.